Hey, what the fuck is up, y'all? It's Crazy McCormick up in this motherfucking bitch here on Juggalo a Day, bitch. Yes, I know the da the darkness. I believe in a thing called love. Just the rhythm of my heart. I don't know where that came from, but that's neither here nor there. Now, I did actually uh, have a topic for the week, but before I get into that, you know, I, uh, uh, me being the Monday guy, I'm always the first person that you see for the week. And I'm usually the one that comes up with some pretty important uh, Juggalo a Day news. So uh, this is what we've got going on for you. Uh, thanks to a lot of the efforts from everybody here at Juggalo a Day Inc., we have actually been able to uh, obtain and maintain 100 subscribers. And for that, we here at Juggalo a Day thank every one of you guys for showing us some love, showing us some support, showing us some views, and, you know, even the likes and the dislikes, the comments, and all of that, uh, you know, uh, from the bottom of our hearts, maybe below the bottom of our hearts, maybe in the cockles of our hearts, maybe below the cockles, maybe in the subcockle area, maybe in the liver, maybe in the kidneys, maybe even in the colon, we don't know, but what we do know is that we thank you for being a part of Juggalo a Day and for interacting with us. And that's the one thing that we've really wanted to have is interaction with the other Juggalos to talk about strange and interesting topics, even some of the ones that are rather fucking weird and have absolutely nothing to do with Juggalo shit. Nevertheless, uh, we do thank you. And to show our love, uh, two things are actually going to be going down. One of them is that we are going to actually have... A custom URL, which is one of the things that you get to do once you get 100 subscribers, you are able to create a custom URL, and that will be happening. Uh, to make things a lot easier and a lot quicker for anybody else that wants to share Juggle with Day along the bend, so that way it's not like some sort of a fucking alphanumeric code, it'll actually say Juggle with Day. Um, so there is that. Then the second piece of news, which I think is going to help us and you grow as a Juggalo community. And uh, it's basically that uh, in celebration of us having 100 subscribers plus, uh, from here on out, starting uh, Sunday, September 1st, 2017, we are going to start incorporating live hangouts. Uh, we will be discussing... Uh, the specific time of day that would work best for us and uh, we will actually start doing live hangouts because we want to talk about what we want to talk about you know like what topics do we want to work with and we want to hear from you we want to hear from you guys on a live feed we want to hear what your ideas are and that is exactly what we've been wanting. We want interaction with our audience, and that is exactly what we're going to get. Come hell or high water, it's happening. Now, with that being said, let's go into the topic of the week. And uh, I, I will say this. Uh, I do apologize for it being a late video for this week. Uh, this past week has been very fucking hectic. I haven't even thought about Juggalo a Day because of the fact of two major things happening. One, I've been hiding on bills, so I've had to work my fucking ass off. And two, there was a big fucking blizzard in the shape of the murder mitten. Five out of the six of us here on Juggalo a Day live in Michigan, so they know exactly what we're fucking talking, what I'm fucking talking about. Me... Big Nick, <clears throat> Nightmare, Miss Juggalette, Black and Red Ted, all of us live in fucking Michigan. The only one that's sticking out like a sore thumb right now is Mr. McEnhose, and he lives in Nebraska. So uh, I don't know what the weather patterns were over in Nebraska, but here in Michigan, it has been a fucking snowy fucking shitstorm. It seriously looks like Scarface sneezed all over Grand Rapids right now. And uh, because of that, the snowstorm ended up starting around Friday. And uh, because of that, uh, it actually ended up scaring off a lot of the other drivers uh, for Uber, which actually helped me out quite a bit because I'm crazy. Y'all know that. I'll be willing to fucking drive around in this fucking tundra. 
So that's exactly what I did. And because of that, I actually was able to uh, make, uh, obtain one trip from Grand Rapids to Chicago, Illinois, which I kind of sort of wish that I bumped into the nostalgia critic, but uh, I didn't. Uh, I hate their drivers and I wanted to get the fuck out of there as quickly as possible. And on top of that, uh, it also landed me a total amount of $700 working Friday and Saturday alone. That gave me $700 driving around in that shit. Which is a good thing, in all honesty, because uh, I need the money. I'm very behind on bills. Uh, and because of that, uh, you know, I ended up talking about that and uh, to uh, the rest of the crew, and we decided that this week's topic was actually going to be about this snowy white shit that's all over the fucking place. Do we like it? Do we not like it? You know, and uh, of course, we do want to hear interaction from the family. So uh, go ahead and do that shit. Uh, start getting your fucking uh, recorders ready. Now, my thing about the winter is, I honestly, I love the winter. Uh, it's not because it's Christmassy and all of that other shit. To, to be totally honest, there's a variety of reasons why I like the winter. Work is definitely one of them. Last year, I ended up making a pretty big haul, and I was expecting a shit storm of fuck that nobody else, else except for me and maybe a choice few other drivers actually wanted to be out in. And it's been working for me so far. Um, I seriously think I need to start investing in a farmer's almanac so that way I can see how fucked up next year's going to get. Um, <clears throat> you know, so it works for me financially being able to do this job and being able to uh, make a living for my family. And the winter helps because it scares off a lot of other newbie drivers and everything like that. I feel that it really tests the metal of a driver uh, to drive around in this shit. And, you know, financially it benefits me. It makes up for the other nine months of, uh, you know, sunshine and fucking ghetto rainbows and magnets and figuring out how they work, you know, it really balances it out. It makes the, you know, there's a lot of bad shit, but, uh, that, you know, there's a lot of bad days, but the few days that are there make it all worthwhile. I believe Violent J ended up saying that, uh, before he started talking about, you know, singing like Michael Jackson, y'all. <coughs> Gem on, toast and. But another thing that I really like about uh, the snow is, you know, I have kids and it's fun to actually play in the snow and watch my kids play in the snow just about as much as it is fun for me to watch the kids run up and down the street in the rain. It's, you know, they put on their little snow suits and shit. We even got like a little snow suit that... It's a full body snowsuit for Jackson, and he and and it, and it makes him look like a little teddy bear. It's fucking cute, but uh, he ain't gonna be making any snow angels anytime soon. Uh, but my other two kids, Elizabeth and Connor, they will be down for doing that shit. I mean, you know, the the only downside to it is you know uh, the the fucking salt trucks don't know how to plow for shit around here, and I live on a one way street. And they don't get, and I don't have a driveway, so they don't give a fuck if uh, I get plowed in or not. But uh, you know, shoveling it is not a bad thing. Uh, it really works the muscles and the pectorals and the abdominal stretch area. <coughs> you know, it kills my back uh, after about maybe an hour of shoveling all of that plow shit. But uh, you know, it's a good workout nevertheless. Which. Uh, is the next thing that I wanted to bring about because one thing that I really love about the winter is the fact that I can actually manage wearing a pair of shorts in a t-shirt if you can't tell I'm not wearing a hoodie or anything like that I know it's dark but you can see my arm and there's no hoodie whatsoever in sight now there's a story behind that and I think this explains why that it is uh, that I'm able to naturally attuned to the climate and the weather once the winter comes and it goes back to 2002 to 2005 and I was a groundskeeper doing a groundskeeping job in an apartment complex every winter it ended up being a fucking blizzard 
and uh, I would have to be there at 5 o'clock in the morning shoveling. So I'd be there by 5 o'clock. We ended up having to shovel all the walks, all the staircases, and everything, and salt and all that shit. And we'd be doing it for like two hours. So set from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m., I'd be in a pair of Timberland bibs. Uh, I'd have my... Uh, I had an old riddle box hoodie that I was wearing, and then I had a Columbia windbreaker that I wore over the hoodie. And uh, by 8 o'clock, the sun would be out, and the windbreaker would be gone, and the straps on the Timberland bibs would be hanging low. And I'd just be walking around sweating like a fucking pig. And then eventually the hoodie would fucking come off, because I'd be too hot in the bibs. The bibs were actually rather fucking strong. And I did this three years in a fucking row. Um, I was with you guys the whole time. You, you saw those lights. I was with you guys the whole time. But, uh, you know, and, and I think that honestly, because of that, I forced myself to be a part of that weather that my body just naturally attunes to it every time I see snow. And it's not really that cold for me. If anything, it actually feels great. But people actually will look at me wearing shorts and at most a hoodie in negative degree weather and people will actually ask me if I'm fucking cold. And no, I'm not fucking cold. If I was cold, I'd put on a hoodie. Which, you know, if I was shivering, I'd put on a hoodie and I'd be fine. I don't feel very, I don't feel very much cold on my legs, so shorts are fine. But the one thing the most that I really like about the winter is the hibernation. It's, it, it, you know, the white blanket that covers the entire state. And, it, and it's almost like it's a time for renewal. It's a time for change, to better yourself. It's a good philosophical outlook on it. And that's what I really like the most about the winter. That and eggnog. Lots and lots of fucking eggnog. I know, I'm still on the fucking eggnog trip. Some people owe me a fucking fat card. So, on the other hand, I'm out this bitch. I'm on, a, I'm on the way to a ride. So, uh, yeah, I'm done with this. Till next week, I'll see y'all on the flip-flop. I'm Audi 9000. Peace out, y'all.